Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A bit of a different video today, but uh, today I wanted to teach everyone how to write Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim because there was a bit of demand for that. So, inshallah, we have this big board and we can practice writing Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. So, first I'll write out uh, uh, in the whole and then we can break it down. So, That's Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, written out in whole. Now we can add the uh, Tashkil as well, so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We got it out nicely written. If I didn't make a mistake, and anyone catches it, please correct me, inshallah. But I think that's correct. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Uh, let's break it down, you know, because you know some people they may not have written Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, or Arabic may not be the uh, language which they can write perfectly, you know. So let's break it down, you know, make it nice and easy for everyone, you know. I highly recommend everyone to get you know a piece of paper out and you know try out with me, you know, inshallah. So we'll break it down. First, let's try. Just this in uh, this part. So I want to just copy this. You see this part. Well, let's write this in first. So let's break it down first. So first we have the letter ba, and we have the letter seen, and we have the letter mean. So if we want to write it separately, we write it like this, isn't it? We got the ba and the seen and the mean. Ba, seen, mean. Now, when we put it together, it would go like this. If you were uh, looking at the lesson in Arabic lesson of how to draw letters, uh, if you haven't, it would be useful. But, anyways, you join it like this, and then you get the scene like this. And because the scene isn't at the end, it's not going to have a tail, and it will just join onto the meme like that, as you have done up there. I wasn't a very good person, but inshallah, we'll do it again. So let's do that again, inshallah. And everyone, copy me, inshallah. So everyone, copy this. Let, let's uh, get a new page. Here. So the word we're writing is this, this part, the first part. Bar seen and mean. As we clarified earlier, it's made up of bar seen and mean. So if it helps, maybe just copy down the letters first, separately, you know? The bear, seen, and the mean, separately. If you do know how to write the letters out, you may skip this part. For those, you know, who may not have written Arabic before, you know, who may struggle, you know, just try to copy these letters down, you know, on a piece of paper, you know, just break it down, you know, like that. And then you slowly, you know, join them up. I'll do it as well, and everyone can join me. Bear, seen, and mean, like that. We'll, we'll do it again. I suggest you want to do it at least five times, let's say. If you need more practice, you can do more. If you if you know you know it, you can skip to the next part. So you see how I join it? You see how I've written it, you know? Bad joins into the scene, which joins into the meme. But because meme it is at the end of this part of the word, it doesn't join onto anything. Else. Let's write it a few more times. Maybe just watch how I'm writing it, and then later on you can pause it and then write it, inshallah. So that's our first part of Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. And we can do all the fatihahs and the qasas later on, but I just want everyone, you know, just to learn how to join these letters together. So I'd say if you haven't already, pause the video here, write them out five times, and inshallah we'll carry on from there. All right, let's carry on. So we got our uh, letters together. Now for those who want to put the fatihahs and the kasas and the bombs and the symbols, let's do that as well. So Bismillah, B, 
what symbol would that be? Which one would it be? It would be a kasra. You see, a kasra. And then here we would have a sukun. And then here we would have another kasra. Bismi. Bismi. And then the meme will join into the Allah later on. So, but so far we have bismi. And if we do that for all of them, you know, just practice. And you know, actually, in uh, Umar Arabic, they, they wouldn't use this, native speakers, they wouldn't use this. But you know, if one wants to write it down, maybe Arabic isn't their first language, they might not understand it. Then we can use these as a guide to help people understand it. You know, you, uh, copy these down, you know, if it makes sense, inshallah ta'ala. And now let us look at the next part of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the next part is Allah. We will look at how to write the word Allah, inshallah. So this part of the word, this part of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is Allah. Now I'm sure most people would be able to write Allah, but let's break it down into the uh, separate letters. So Allah, it is made out of the letters Alif, Lam, another Lam, and Aha. So Allah. And if anyone struggles, as I said before, copy, just break it down, isn't it? Break down the letters, write the letters down, have a feel for how you know the letters are written, you know, and how they later on how they are joined, you know. Not just for this word, you know, but with every word, you know. If you can slowly grasp how to write the letters down, you know, it will help you with everything, inshallah ta'ala. So I have uh, broken it down, Allah, and now I put it together. I have the alif, and if you know, alif is called the naughty letter, which means that it doesn't join into anything. Something may join onto it, but it doesn't join into anything else. And then we have the lamb, and the lamb will join into another lamb, and this lamb will join into the hand. Allah. My handwriting looks a bit bad because it's on the board, but you know, that's the sort of gist of it, inshallah. So we can write that down again. Write alif, lamb, then the next lamb, and then the hand. Allah. Do that again. Lamb, lamb. And the half. Allah. Alif, Lam, Lam, and the half. Allah. And one more time. Alif, Lam, Lam, half. So, what I suggest for people to do with this video is go along with me, isn't it? So, first, maybe while I'm writing it, just watch how I write it, and then maybe have a pause, inshallah. And then you can write it down maybe five times as a practice. Without the symbols for now, and then later on, after you unfold, we can look how to add all the symbols, inshallah ta'ala. Alright, now let's look at uh, what we will add the symbols. So, as you know, here we have a shadda. Yes, a shadda we have in here, it's called. And then you have this uh, long alif, not a long alif. You have this uh, long fatha, and then you have a dhamma here. Allahu. In general, we would say Allahu, but since we are writing Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, it will not be Allahu in this instance. It would be Allahi because of the word. Of the phrase Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's not Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But if it is just Allah by itself, it will be Allah. But because in this instance we're writing Bismillah, it will be Allahi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So you know, write both down. You know, both can come in useful. But for Bismillah, we write uh, Allah with a uh, kasra on it, and just for Allahu that will be a bomba. So write both down. You know. Have both examples down, inshallah. You know, you can pause it, you know, make the notes, make all the notes you need, inshallah. And now we can look at the next part of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And the next part is ar-Rahman. 
Sorry, yeah. The next part is Ar Rahman. And similarly to Ar Rahman, there is actually a sunnah called Sunnah Ar Rahman. But let's write the word Ar Rahman down first. So, if you look at Ar Rahman, the word it is. The word in itself is actually broken into two sorts of words as well. You have the word an, and you also have the word rahman. And why this is, is because the word an, if you may know, an means that, and rahman it means like the benefit, the beneficent. Now, ar rahman means the beneficent. So we add the word the to the word, which makes ar rahman. And if we break that down further, we would have. For the al, al part, we will have alif and lam, and then for rahman part, we will have ra and ha and mim and nun rahman. And you know we have this uh, longer magic there as well, but we can look at that later on. So rahman, ra ha mim nun. Now make the nun, you know, break it down, you know, make it easier for you to understand. And then when we put it together, we will write the alif and the lam. We join that to the ra and the ha and the mim and the noon. And then you can put this uh, mad in there as well. Try that, inshallah. Let's do that again. Alif, lam, ra, ha, mim, noon. Okay? Alif. Lam, Ra, Ha, Mim, Ar Rahman. Pause the video, inshallah, and then write it down five times. I've written it three times, but, well, five times if you count these, but you know, five times, inshallah, and then we can look how uh, to do it with the symbol, inshallah. All right, now let's look at it with the symbols. So, and it will be seven because. Well, in technically, you'd have a fatha uh, here, but since Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, it will join into the previous letter. This sort of gets cancelled out, really. so it gets silenced. Uh, but we have the lamb there, and this would have a sukun ar-Rahman. Well, it sort of gets, you know, uh, there's a rule called the shams and Qamar rule, and Ra we have here is actually a shams letter, and with shams letters. I have a lesson which goes into more detail with this, but just as a brief thing, it sort of merges, uh, making the ra sort of merges with the lamb, and the lamb sort of gets silenced out. So it will be ar rahman or bismillahir rahman ar rahim. You can see how the lamb sort of gets merged away. So bismillahir rahman ar rahim, ar rahman. So let me take that out. Alright, let's try this one anyway. Uh, Ar Rahman, or in here Ar Rahmani, because we have uh, here Ar Rahmani because it will be uh, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Yeah. So that's how we would write it. And the final part of the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is Rahim. Yes, it's this part. Ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And let's write it down again. Ar-Rahim. And if we break it down, just like ar-Rahman, made of two parts, Al and Rahim. So let's break it down again. Al breaks into what? Al is just Ali and the Lamb, and Rahim it is. Oh, I forgot the Ra here. There, there should be a Ra there, I forgot the Ra there. But so you have here Ra, Ha, Ya, and Mim. Rahim. Make the notes which you may refer that how is very good. How should be like this? It's just a board, you know. Uh, but Rahim. So let's uh, put it together then. Al. And then, since it's Shams and Kamaru, 
carry on and do five more of those just to keep it time short you know uh, I'll limit it to two for me but everyone you can do uh, five just pause the video and write out this out five times all right now the, let's look at it with the symbols so in theory this should be Ar-Rahim but because of the Arabic grammar rules and and, and because it's joining from a previous Word because it's the phrase of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the Ali will be silenced out and will be joined from what was joined from the previous word. But just for general knowledge, let's just uh, write how we will write ar-Rahim. So now, Alif, Sukun of the Lam, and Fatha of the Ra, and a Kasa of the Ha, and a Sukun of the Ya, and Mim, we would put a Kasa on it, ar-Rahim. Or Ar Rahim, if you want to stop. So, because this is actually joining from another word, the Alif will be silenced out, as would the Lam be merged out, because it's a uh, Shams letter, just like uh, Ar Rahman. So, in this case, it would just be Bismillah Ar Rahman, Nir Rahim. It would join on from the Nun from the previous letter, Nir Rahim. So, it will be the same symbols as this. I hope this sort of makes sense. You know, make all the notes you need, and if you need anything, just ask in the comments. Now we broke it down everything together. So now let us put everything we learned together, all the notes we learned together, and let's make the final product, inshallah. So, what was the first part? The first part was ba, seen, and me. That was our first part. What was the second part? We can write the symbols at the end. Allah and third part Ar Rahman and the final part Ar Rahman and now we put the symbol on so a kiss on the bar, a sukun on the seam, and a kiss on the meme, and a shadda on the lamb, and the mad, and then a uh, Kiss on the ha, sukun on the lam, fatha on the ra, kisra on the ha, and you have a mad, rahman, and and then you have a kisra on the lun, bismillah, ir, rah. Sorry, no, that's wrong. You have. So you have a, a sukun on the lamb, then you have a fatha on the ra, and then you have you have a sukun on the ha, and then you have a mad on the mean, and then you have a kasa on the noon, rahman, and then you have a sukun on the lamb, and then you have a fatha on the ra, and a kasa on the ha, and a sukun on the ya. And the kiss on the meme if you want at the end. Rahim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. I hope that makes sense. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.